Hello everybody, Sparkster1701 here. We're taking a look at another of the Studio Constructicons. This is Overload. Overload in the original Generation 1 continuity was actually an Autobot Micromaster, so... This time around, it's taken a little bit of an adjustment to see him as a Decepticon much less a Constructicon. Now, Overload here is one of the leader class toys, so he and Scavenger are the basic bulk of the body for Devastator. And I can also tell you this one is one of the harder ones to obtain. And the one I ended up with, this one right here in front of us, didn't come with any instructions. So, we will be having to resort to some online trickery to be able to get him transformed. But before we get to that point, let's of course take a look at his backdrop. And of course, like all the other ones for the Constructicons, it is showing off the Pyramids of Egypt for the scene in Revenge of the Fallen where they transformed into Devastator. So, you don't really need to look at that too much. Straighten out his leg here, so he at least looks like he's standing decently. As you can see, he's pretty big and pretty wide. As far as loose parts goes, he comes with this which is to be a part of the mechanism that he uses in his truck mode and is also a critical component for forming Devastator. But for right now we don't need it until we transform him so we'll just lay it aside. In the meantime we'll bring him up close a little bit so that we can try to do a little bit of articulation viewing. The head can be turned a little bit. It's hard to do. Ah, it does detach a little bit, so that'll help us. It does turn from left to right, and it is on a ball joint, so it will look up and down. His arms do stretch out pretty far, as you can clearly see there. But of course, the big, uh, the large arms here have articulation at the shoulder and the elbow. There's a little bit here at the wrist, but the claws don't open. The smaller arms also have their own elbows to bend at. And the entire unit here at the shoulder does rotate. His legs can be spread apart into almost full splits. They can go full split if we shift the tires out of the way. You can raise his leg up at the hip about 90 degrees, and he can bend his leg at the knee only that far. So, his uh, articulation looks good in theory, but... Truth be told, his legs do suffer a bit. Okay, like with Scavenger, since we're using an online source to help us transform Overload, we're going to be going a little slower on the transformation method. So I do apologize to my viewers for that. Now the first thing we have to do is we turn him around here. We're going to fold this tip in. And we separate the unit and fold this back section down. The next thing we're going to do is turn him around. We're going to take the large claws on the end. We'll rotate them here. And then we're going to fold the unit up 
so that the post that's here at the bottom of the claw, this post right here, will connect into this slot right here, right beside the wheel. And we will want to do that for both of the large arms. Just exactly like that. Okay, next up is we're going to take these clawed arms that are folded up and we're going to fold them up and get them into the shoulders here. They should just go right on in without any trouble. Just exactly like that to help form the wheels of the vehicle. Now next up, we fold up the front claws, then we're going to rotate them around, and then this post right here on the wrist should come up and connect into the hole, should connect into this hole right here in the shoulder, just exactly like that. And do that here with the other arm. You may need to adjust the shoulders as necessary. But there we are. His arms are now folded up. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the arms. We're going to ratchet them so that the wheels face forwards. And kind of straighten out the arms and then we're going to bring them up above his head and they've got several spots where they should line up and connect to each other. We got a wheel here get loose on us. Get that back into position. There we go. Getting further along. For this next part here, briefly, we're going to come over here to the driver's compartment. We slide it over along this bar and then fold it down and snap it into place. Now we're going to come down here to his feet. We'll take these extra claws that are protruding out the back, fold them inward, and we'll fold down the side covers here, and fold his feet inwards. Just exactly like that. Next up, we're going to straighten his legs a bit and then we're going to take the wheel here and we're going to rotate it around and it should just connect into place just like that or better straighten this leg just a little bit better that's better Now what we do is adjust the legs a little bit so that we can bring the front of the vehicle together. So kind of feel free to make the necessary adjustments so that it is straight and locked. There we go. That's better. Next up, we turn him upside down for a moment. So we're going to take the head piece and we're going to fold it down in between his legs. Make all the jokes you want about it, folks. But we're also going to shift this section upwards a bit. Probably make a brief adjustment to the legs. Because we're going to fold down 
this upper section and lock it into place. Just exactly like that. Yeah, it looks a little weird, but it looks right. And now to complete the look, all we got to do is fold down these other wheels, and their posts should lock in into some holes alongside the joints. And then there we have it. Overload is in his alternate mode. He is a modified Caterpillar 776 articulated dump truck. Of course, the online copy of the instructions also incorporates the Devastator piece back here. What I've been using doesn't include that, but... That's just a way to hold on to it if you don't want to lose the piece when it's in vehicle mode. The wheels do roll pretty good, but some of the toy sits awfully low, so it is hard to tell how well it will roll on this table, because I don't want it to scratch it up. Okay, to start turning him into Devastator's lower torso... We're going to start by separating the rear portion of the vehicle. You rotate it so that, that way all the detailing is going to face us. You're going to bring it out to the side. Oops. I want to do it this side. You got to get it straight and level. Just exactly like that. Next up, we're going to come up here to these central wheels. We're going to pop them free and just fold them outwards like that. We'll come back down here to this lower portion. You're going to rotate it at the middle so that now the tires will face us. Just like that. The next thing we're going to do is we turn him around. We're going to unhook the claw arms and rotate their unit downward to kind of get them out of our way. Just like that. And the next thing we're going to do is we come down here, I'm going to shift, shift the leg piece out here a bit so that we can get to this, fold this section out, stabilize the unit. Didn't say pop the wheel. There we go. We got those out and in position. Next thing we're going to do is we pop out the claw arms down here, fold them out, fold the claw inward like so. Then we're going to rotate it around and position it so it connects into this upper hole right here. Come on, get back out here. And in you go. Alright, next up, we're going to turn him around here to work on the upper section. We pop this segment free. And we're going to start by separating those pieces apart. We're going to shift the shift these units back 
just a little. So we're going to come here and fold this piece up. Fold up the driver's compartment. Slide it over. Then we fold it back down because we're going to fold this whole unit up and kind of perch it strategically on top of his head for the moment. And of course, once you've gotten all that done, you are set. So now we get down to my thoughts. What do I think of Overload? I think Overload is a bit overdone in the terms of how he works out like this. I mean, granted, yes, he does form a major component to the combined unit, but I do think the toy is a little bit complicated. Granted, it is an adult collectible, but since I had to rely on two different sets of instructions just to get him transformed, I think Hasbro could have found a better way to simplify this so it didn't spoil a lot of the fun. But granted, it is all together, and I am looking forward to seeing how it will look when we make Devastator. At any rate, that concludes my review of the Studio Constructicon Overload. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you like the video, please leave me a thumbs up here on YouTube. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and join our ranks. Make sure to ring the bell so you'll be notified when we post new content. I also ask that you share this video with your friends and fellow collectors. That helps this channel grow. And also, share your thoughts about Overload in the comments down below. This is Sparkster1701 saying I will catch you all later.